My mom was never one to, to go out and, and try to climb the steps because she was a woman and, and, and I mean the doors were closed on her because of a woman and rather than to make uh, something of that uh, which we've seen, you know, with, with, with some people. Uh, uh, she just did her job. And if you do that, uh, the results will probably work out in the long run and be positive. And, and so that's, that's been a great uh, mindset for me. When she was appointed to the Supreme Court, it was an astounding moment for women in law. And I tell young lawyers today, I said, I don't think you can appreciate how important that was to us because we've been told that there were so many areas of law that we weren't welcomed in. There were so many areas of law where many lawyers thought women couldn't succeed. But once we had a woman on the Supreme Court, it was hard to say that we couldn't do anything that we wanted to because she was at the pinnacle. ASU wanted to associate the school with the values you stand for, including integrity, public service, personal independence, the willingness to take risks, wonderful curiosity, high intellectual standards, and an abiding commitment to justice and the rule of law. Now, did President Crow pretty much get it right in defining your values? Oh, he said a lot there. <laughs> I'd have to go back, it all sounded splendid. <laughs> but I do care about how things evolve for young people and whether they have learned how to make things happen in their lives that are important and that are worthy of happening and that will uh, make them be remembered for their contributions in the future. So I was really thrilled that the law school would bear my name.